Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you with me as I get my Walmart pickup, show you my grocery haul, and a couple of recipes that I make with it. I'll see y'all soon. Alright y'all, so um, I'm here picking up my grocery. Stop by Starbucks, of course, because I'm basic, but Jesus loves me, so that don't matter. But um, I feel fancy having people put uh, my groceries in my car. <laughs> we'll see. anything will fly away well if, if, if you don't mind I don't mind you guys just throwing it in my back seat because honestly I want to run in and get a couple of things okay thank you so much So very quickly, I just want to show you guys a photo of all the meal planning and the menu ideas that I have for the upcoming weeks. So you guys, let's start off with this grocery haul. Um, I needed some laundry detergent, so I grabbed me some Tide, toilet tissue, you know that's always necessity, and some paper towels. So onto the grocery, I'm going to start right here at the corner of the table. I got me some minced garlic, it's always a seasoning that is a necessity. Philadelphia cream cheese, that will be in the recipe at the very end, so please stay tuned you guys. I've got bananas and my uh, sparkling water because you all know I can't live without it. Some watermelons, which my kids are going to eat up today, I guarantee you it's not going to last. Um, as you all saw in the beginning, all the recipes that I showed you, I will be using the teriyaki sauce, of course, for the uh, beef bowl that I'll be doing. I've got some apples here, some bow tie pasta. Um, I've got, of course, you know, just lunch fixings, the hazelnut spread, the lunch meat, the sliced cheese. Um, I do plan to make chili mac um, these next few weeks, so I've got quite a few packs of shredded cheese. These are staples in my home. Every morning we either have a uh, bacon or sausage. So I have a couple of those. I have the flour tortillas here because we will be having some ground beef tacos in the next couple of weeks as well. And it comes with a pack of 20. Um, I think I'm going to do some breakfast quesadillas too. I've got some of the K-Pods of the Walmart house blend and some half-length spaghetti. I've got this um, cold brew. I haven't had it before, so I wanted to try it. Um, here I've just got these little smell goods to place all over the house. I like when my smells coordinate. I've got some Alfredo sauce here, and actually I've got two of them because I will be uh, making some um, fettuccine, shrimp fettuccine soon. I've got these um, carrots that will go into the Korean beef bowl I was talking about. Cilantro is always a necessity in my house, whether it's for beans or tacos or any other seasoning. I use it all the time. Um, I've got this uh, huge thing of cold cereal and bread, of course, for the kids' sandwiches and the lunches throughout the week, as well as toast for breakfast. I've got some frozen blueberries here rice cauliflower which i really love with some garlic and butter i've got the waffle fries which will go with our turkey sliders tonight broccoli because it's one of my kids favorite vegetables um between kale and broccoli i just switch because they like them both i've got this imitation of vanilla here because the real stuff is super expensive but i like to put it in my kids cream of wheat as well as their oatmeal Texas toast for dinner sides, butter of course, and I've got these little French toast cinnamon sticks, um, not for breakfast, 
but just for a snack throughout the day. My kids snack heavy and they eat heavy, so I'm just trying to keep a, a, keep some things in the house that will keep them full. Pancake mix is always a staple. I have these croissant rolls that will be a part of the recipes I'll show you at the end of the video. Brown sugar. I have only one small thing of canola oil. I don't fry a lot, probably twice, two or three times a month I'll cook fried foods, so I don't need too much oil. Milk, of course, flour, and sugar. Both of my children love to bake, and they did not get that from me. I am not a good baker at all, but I got this uh, mix of peanut butter cookie mix as well as the milk chocolate um it's not the season you know to get the little uh chocolate drops to go on top of the peanut butter cookies so i just thought the milk chocolate um kisses the small ones would be a good idea a good substitute rice of course and now we are back at the beginning So moving over here to the bar, I've got my cleaning products. I've got some dish soap, of course. I just got this little Ocean Breeze body wash for the kids. Um, they go through soap like, like they drink it to tell you the truth. And two Fabulosos. For um, my meat, I've got quite a bit of ground beef. Now today, um, I didn't order five pounds. I only ordered three. And because they were out, they gave me the big one and it was no extra cost. I love that substitution about Walmart. I also have my cooked shrimp for my uh, shrimp uh, fettuccine that I was going to make. I have this um, thin uh, round, bottom round steak. And I also have behind that some thin sliced chicken breast because I intend to make some crispy chicken sliders as I showed you guys in my meal plan earlier. And two packs of ground turkey. So for dinner tonight, what I did do was make the turkey sliders. Here they go. And these are all the seasonings that I put in them. And here they are all cooked up with a side of the wedge fries. And that Chick-fil-A sauce, you guys, is delicious. It's expensive. It cost me like $5, but it's worth it. So the second recipe that I wanted to show you guys is the dessert that we had. And what I'm using are, of course, the products from the whole. I'm using these crescent rolls, some Philadelphia cream cheese, the vanilla extract, and some of the frozen blueberries that I just defrost and sprinkle just a little bit of sugar on. Now what I'll be making is a Danish of some type with the crescent rolls, of course, as the crust. Now, um, first things first, I'm just gonna take the cream cheese and I'm going to, I honestly, I cut too much, you guys. So I think about half will do you. Um, I'll probably use three quarters. But what I'm gonna do is just pop this in the microwave for about 15 seconds to soften up. I'm gonna go in with my hand mixer. Right there, I did add about one eighth of a cup of sugar, but it wasn't sweet enough for me. So later on, you'll see that I added just a little bit more one tablespoon of vanilla extract and then I am just going to uh, blend this all together so what I did next you guys is I just took the crescent roll dough and um, I didn't roll it out as you normally would or anything of that nature. What I did is I just put it horizontally on the cookie sheet and I began to cut little pinwheels. So after I did that, I just went in with my little spoon here and I just tried to make like a, um, just a little bowl of the dough. Um, as you can see, I'm just jabbing my finger in there and just trying to make little crust edges to hold the cream cheese filling and the blueberries. So here I am starting on filling. And this was a super simple project. 
Um, I think this would be something that my kids could probably do on their own or if they want to do it with me. I just wanted something sweet for a weekday. I um, mean, as you go, as I tell you guys before, like I don't really bake a lot and I'm not the best baker. So I was just looking for recipes that were sweet and simple that I could do and not mess up to tell you the truth. <laughs> So I put them in the oven at 425 for about 12 to 15 minutes. And here's the end result, you guys. I'm really proud of myself. They are really delicious. My kids loved them, I loved them, and they were really, really super and easy to make for a weekday. I hope you all enjoy this haul and the recipes, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.